Yo, what's up guys? I haven't made a video for quite a bit, but this is definitely something that I wanted to make a video about because I have been getting quite a bunch of questions on the Transmog giveaway event. I think a lot of people really haven't looked too much into it yet because they're like, what Transmog should I pick? Well, first of all, I would always say choose the Transmog that you just like because Transmogs in the end, they're just there to look cool. They're just there to enhance whatever you look or like to look at and those kind of things. So that's definitely there. First of all, just choose what you would like to look at. If you don't really care about that and you want to go for more niche mechanics of saying upgrading the speech of your dungeon teams or something like that, especially for R5, there's a few skins out there for R5 that actually make it where the tuning of the different teams and the turn order of the different teams gets corrected. So for that reason, I'm going to give you my recommendation of any of those weeks of which transmogs I would recommend you to take if you don't have any transmogs. And also maybe there's some like backups if you do already have one or two. So starting off with first week, I did already choose my one for first week just to check like how it works. I thought like maybe you can choose one per one of those, but no, it's just choosing one in total. But the first one is pretty easy and you want to get Penguin Colleen, which is the one over here. That's the one where the Colleen in the Penguin suit. Why do you want this one? R5. Because if you're running the team with the Bale and the Brandia, then the only way to actually make that perfectly sinking all the time is if you have Penguin Colleen. It's also the only skin that is a... 100% must, rather than all of the others are maybe a little bit more of a niche. Uh, sure, you can do it without Pink Wing Colleen, but you do get a, a bunch of like those random interactions where something moves that isn't supposed to move and that kind of stuff. With Pink Wing Colleen, that's actually totally fixed in the team that I also use for my R5 team in the last video, which is the, the branding on both sides, the team up on both sides, and then your middle team is going to be that Bell and the Brandia. And that just, you need the Pink Wing Colleen for that. If you do already have Penguin Colleen, there's a few options that you could go here if you want to have a little bit faster of mechanics. I'm pretty sure that the, uh, the mecha versions of the Icarus are faster. I'm not 100% sure. Well, it's mainly for the ones that have team up. So I would say the Icaru and also the Rogue. For the Crow, it's actually the 2A that's faster. And I'm not sure about the new like 2A skin that we have right now, if it's actually better than those, but that is just something from the past that were better. If you don't want to go for that one, and very interesting one is uh, well, is going for the Street Dancer Julie. Street Dancer Julie is the fastest skin that Julie has by quite a bunch. So I would say Penguin Colleen, number one, and then Street Dancer Julie, number two. Those are the things that you could go for. Anything else is probably just if you really like the skin, it could be nice. They have some decent-ish skins for some of those over here, but those are the two skins that I could recommend for that week. Moving on to week two. Um, let's see what we have over here. For me, it's also kind of like checking what do I see. I think none of these skins are actually... Oh, there's actually one. I do know that the Sath skin... We're actually going to probably get a new Sath skin. It was leaked somewhere as one of those pictures. But I do know that the Sath skin is actually faster than like the base skin itself. I also do think that this is the only windy slash chilling skin in the game. So if you do want to put a skin on those, because that's also something that you have to keep into uh, consideration as well. Does something already have a skin somewhere else? For example, if you would take a Oracle skin over here, or you would take like a Polar Queen skin over here, there's a lot of Polar Queen skins. There's a lot of like Oracle skins, but some of these units, especially four stars, they only have like one or two skins. And then you could check like, okay, maybe I want to pick those up. But I would say for this one, yeah, maybe just go for that or just go for something you like or go for like a Sath or Train because I do think that those are fast, but not 100% sure about that. Also, uh, feel free to leave it in the comments if any of the skins that I did or did not mention are actually faster than one another or something like that. I will be making a list in the description as well of just keeping up to date like, oh, I missed this one or I missed that one. It will be in the description down below as well. But let's look for week three. Week three, we can't select something yet. It's a little bit difficult to see. We we'll definitely not go to third transmog because there's a different uh, transmog out there that is faster. I don't really see any of the transmogs that are necessarily a must. Wait, is this the outlaw? Wait, this is outlaw galleon, right? Yeah, outlaw galleon is the fastest transmog for galleon. So if you do want to get one over here, I would definitely go for the galleon. Anything else? Well, this is also the raccoonian dove. I only have one skin, so you could maybe go for those as well. And I kind of have to look at like, these things are so dark. Wait, let me actually put up the screen for myself in brightness just to be able to look at it a little bit better. Uh, but no, I, I would say probably, I, I'm pretty sure that this is Outlaw Galleon. If it is, then take, no, wait, Outlaw Galleon looks different. Outlaw Galleon is, no, 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 wait, that's just the space pirate captain or something Galleon. That's not the right Galleon. So I would probably say Raccoon or something or one of the skins that you would like because this one doesn't seem to have anything that interesting. 
at least for pve mechanics this is also the point where it gets harder and harder for all of these things they look really cool but they are kind of zoomed in where i have a struggle of looking at it this one is pretty easy if you don't have dj lucian go for dj or no wait no this is not dj lucian but this is actually the fast lucian skin some people do say that dj lucian is faster but dj lucian is, i'm pretty sure dj lucian is not faster than i think this is called card master lucian card master lucian is definitely one that you want to take if you don't have it yet Another one that you could go for is Space Cowgirl uh, on Lauren, because that's also a slight bit faster. So that's also a skin that you could take from week four. Let's move on to week five. What do we have on week five? Uh, that is one of the newer skin. No, wait, that's a ninja skin. We have one of those over here. That's anything interesting. I'm not too sure about the twin skins, which are faster. I do think that the surfing uh, Sabrina is fast skin, which is probably this one. Um, if you want to have the fastest skin for Shina, it's the tube one, and for Talia, it's the Jaiju one. So the Jaiju one is the free one. And then the tube one could also be this one. So you could pick up twins over here. They are probably the fastest, but twins are also a little bit difficult to see what is fastest because they have different animation duration with every different of the other twins. So it gets a little bit wonky in that for testing and stuff. But I'm pretty sure that these could be the fastest twin skins out there. So if you're still using twins for like, rift rate or something like that, you could pick those up and once again of course if you feel like any of those are pretty cool you could pick those up first um let's see what we have for this one wait is that a halloween skin does it have no it doesn't have the vert in here because halloween vert is fastest but i don't see it in here in here it's pretty hard to see which ones are in there actually uh this one same thing i think none of these i'm not sure if lucas with skin is faster because you do use lucas in rift rates so you could maybe be looking at picking up that but i'm not 100 percent sure if that's any faster um a star is not fastest on this skin there's actually another skin that's faster so for this one i don't think any of those skins are really a necessary anything improving for dungeon times in pve so might as well just take whatever you like uh, this one, I do know that the Veramal skin for the S2 is probably fastest unless you have the RTA Guardian skin. I think it's a Guardian skin. Uh, same thing for Akamir. Guardian skin is fastest, but I think that this is the second fastest out there. So you could pick those up if you use a lot of Galia or if you use a lot of Veramals, you use a lot of Akamir or something like that. Let's see what are those units over here. I don't think that those are that interesting. Neither for the... Man, it's so hard to see what are these units in the pack over there, but I don't think it's any of those interesting ones that you might want to go for uh then we have halloween skin i think is that the halloween skin where vert is in there no wait that's released earlier then but where is halloween vert halloween vert or is halloween vert coming in later i thought it would be relatively early oh wait halloween vert is in this one ah okay so week seven i, I forgot about week seven i only saw this and this i didn't really see this man it's so freaking small my eyesight's not that great Halloween Vert, you want to go Halloween Vert 100% on this one. Week 7, Halloween Vert 100% because it's definitely faster and you use Vert a lot in a lot of plates. So Halloween Vert or uh, this thing, the uh, Veramol slash Akamamir. So for this one, um, I am not too sure. I don't think that it is faster to go for a Mephisto on this, uh, neither for the Lucifer. So you don't really want to pick up this one. Uh, the fastest one is the RTA skin and then it's the base skin. So... For that one, it doesn't really matter to go for this one at all. Uh, let me look at the other skins. I don't think that any of those skins are actually any of the faster units out there as well. No, pretty sure they're not. So week eight is not that interesting. Can just take... Oh, wait, is this Winter Brandia? If No, I don't think it is Winter Brandia. I think this is a different Brandia because the Winter Brandia looks like the Game of Thrones Brandia kind of stuff. I think it's probably in week 10 or so because that's one of the more... Reason why, yeah, this is Winter Brandia, so that's for week 10, kind of skipping ahead. But uh, week 8, I think week 8 doesn't really matter anything, so just take whatever you like. Uh, week 9, what do we have over here? I am not 100% sure, but I do feel like Feng Yang is fastest animation on this one. I could be very wrong on that, so don't add me on it if I'm wrong. We also are going to get a Siege skin later. But if you use the Bruiser team, uh, it's something that you might want to check, or maybe someone leaves in the comments as well, so you just write it, or you read it from the comments or the description. Which Feng Yang skin is the fastest? Because if it's fastest Feng Yang skin and you use it a lot on like the auto team, it might be something relatively interesting to look at if you want to speed up those things by a little bit. Um, we do also have this skin, which is, I think, the 
a magic student or something for a star and that's actually the fastest skin so you could go for week nine if you use a star for uh either necro or r5 or something else um magic student i'm pretty sure it's magic student a star is going to be interesting for that week nine and then week 10 i probably would say the brandia winter because brandia winter is fastest out there um anything else well you, you have a whole bunch of cool skins on this one so like the later it goes with the skins the more cool skins you also get so first of all i would just recommend to go anyone on like cool skins you want to go for afterwards you could be nitpicking or saying like okay a little bit faster animation here a little bit faster animation there i would say the only one that's actually like a must must is the penguin colleen but you can still buy that with like a hundred uh, of those uh, shape shifting stones so it's not really a must to have it taken from here but that's the only one I would say these days is actually a must because that is uh, making all of the interactions in the R5 correctly for that one specific team. Anything else is just whatever you like. But since I did get a lot of questions of like, oh, what should I pick? What should I pick? Well, video for you guys. Guys, thanks a lot for watching. I definitely appreciate all of the support I had in the previous few videos. Definitely support or definitely appreciate all of you guys watching this kind of stuff. Guys, thanks a lot for watching. I am going to do another summon session um, that is going to be pretty much towards the end of the event of where you get like the 10 plus 1 of the summoning scrolls. I'm saving all of my summoning scrolls right now and then in about like 17 days, 16-ish days, uh, I will do another stream and then also another video of all of my summons. And I do think I will be at the LD rate for getting an LD5 uh, at that moment because I'm currently... Uh, I don't think I have it shown over here. Maybe in this one. Yeah, I have it shown in this overview. I'm on the 226. And technically, a 286 would be the rate of LNDs. However, in the end, it doesn't really matter anything because we don't have any pity system. So in the end, whatever that number is, doesn't really matter at all. But let's see if we can go under rate or we're going dry on all of those LDs as well. Definitely, I've been seeing a lot of people pull a lot of amazing stuff. So congratulations to those. If you didn't get anything, that sucks, man. That definitely does suck. So, guys, thanks once again. Thanks a lot for watching. Gonna keep this short. See you as always in the next one.